and welcome to Random Videos 1997 1. Today we're going to be talking graphics memory as we review and unbox the ATI Radeon 9550 sent to us courtesy of Dill Extreme. Enjoy! Okay, so this is the ATI Radeon graphics card itself. You can see it comes in a nice static proof bag which will keep it protected from any static proof shocks in the way and it was packaged in a envelope which had bubble wrap around it to also help furthermore in case it takes any damage. Now getting out of the static proof bag, obviously you want to touch something metal first, I'm actually touching my camera tripod with my arm as I pick it up because it's fully, uh, it's fully metal and it's static proof or you could just touch the heatsink simply here. So you can see this is an ATI uh, you can see this is a AGP times 8 graphics card and all the components are on the back and the front. It has a big heatsink with a cooling fan to keep it nice and cool throughout all the tasks you're throwing at it. Now this heatsink in this fan would probably allow you to do a fair bit of overclocking because it would be nice and cool. You could also add some extra fans underneath the graphics card because it, be, it will be slotted into a PC like this and you could probably get a fan on below the graphics card on the bottom of the case. This graphics card allows you to do a uh, triple monitor setup but it's probably easiest to do a dual because most people have a VGA and a, a, uh, a um, can't think of the name of the thing. Most people will have a VGA and a DVI connection. This is a S-Video connection which most people won't have but uh, that is actually closer to HD than the, the uh, the VGA but the DVI can uh, admit true HD and this can only admit uh, 720p and that can admit fairly close to HD uh, I'd say around uh, just above 720 not quite 1080 though so there isn't really much you can say about a graphics card other than that it comes with the installation driver disk which is very useful to have so you've got all the drives for Windows 7, Windows XP and Windows ME and I'm sure it would work with Windows Vista even though it wasn't listed and um, the graphics card is fairly big for a graphics card let's compare it to my older graphics card bearing in mind this doesn't have a fan and it also doesn't have a uh, half as much memory this is actually a 32 megabyte graphics card and all this has is a DVI output for the HD output and this comes with a range of outputs it comes with a fan and a much larger heatsink and uh, is ATI rather than the lowest end NVIDIA graphics card you can get and this piece of rubbish can get thrown away now that I've got this nice new one to play with and a bonus of it is that it's only $30 on Dale Extreme, which we will leave a link to in the description and is only uh, that's only about £20 and uh, it's ATI, it's ATI Radium 256 of megabyte GPU data as you can see there so it's a really really nice graphics card it's really fast and uh, just before I show you some gameplay which is custom zombies which I've recorded with this using fraps on my PC it's time to thank our sponsors Dill Extreme okay so this is the Dill Extreme website you can see it's got thousands of gadgets you can get on there and uh, we're signed up and sponsored with them which means they send us products up for us to review which means we can get you good quality content so they'd really appreciate it and we'd really appreciate it if you go and check out their site they've also got a blog which is blog.dillextreme.com which we'll leave a link to in the description and if you like something on there go ahead and buy it it's probably going to be cheaper than everywhere else and if you want to buy something in bulk well we can get you bulk trade prices Okay guys, so this is the Zombies gameplay which we've all been waiting for and you can see how clear it looks on this graphics card the ATI actually handles it really really smoothly and looks really really clear and if you're using the DVR connection or DVA connection like me you'll see how clear it looks in HD and uh, this is just on the World at War Zombies and uh, this graphics card can fully run custom zombies Okay, that's it from us today we hope you have enjoyed this review of the ATI Radian 9550 and we hope to bring you more reviews in the future and remember to subscribe because we've got some giveaways and some cool other bits and pieces for coming up on our channel soon that you will be sure to check out. And if you missed our last video of the Beats Mixer review, please go check that out. There will be a link on screen right now. Thanks for watching guys and we'll be sure to see you.